Alright. Gonna make a little uh, Mega Man X tier list because it's been on my mind. Uh, Alright, here we go. I really like the franchise a lot and um, the character in general and the mechanics and a lot of stuff about it, sound effects. But there's definitely a lot of variation in the quality of the games and my enjoyment that I get from them. Um, so let's just go in order to them. Mega Man X3, A tier. Um, I know some people don't really like X3 as much, but um, I've always re really liked it. It's the first game where you can kind of dash upward. It's, I, I think it's the only one where you can dash upward. So I like that mechanic. I like the upgrades. I like playing as Zero. First game you can play as Zero at all, um, even though it's only partial. And I like the, uh, the Z Saber when X gets it. X2. I'm also going to put an A tier. It's a really good game, but I don't think that it exceeds to the level of S tier. Um, I think I liked it about as much as X3. Still a good continuation of the franchise. Uh, definitely a solid game. Great mechanics, great soundtrack. Great game. A tier. Mega Man X4, S tier for sure. You can play with both X and Zero. It's the first game where Zero is fully playable. It's an amazing game. Um, there's just too many great things about it. I can almost barely talk about it because it's so good. Mega Man X5. I'm going to put in B tier. It still has a lot of the mechanics of X4. Um, X and Zero are both fully playable. Um, it just lacks a little bit, I think, in the stage development and stage design. X4 was really fun. The, the stages are really creative. They had a lot of different phases and you were constantly moving. Um, most of them were pretty different from the other ones. X5 to me just feels more like I don't know. The stage is more as well designed. That's just kind of how I feel about it. Mega Man X6. C tier. I mean, I'm not sure what they, what they were really trying to do in X6, but it didn't really work for me. Um, I might give it another chance. It still has cool mechanics, but I think, yeah, the, the similar to X5, but just the stages are even worse it's like you either needed to be insanely good at the game or just memorize the whole game just to kind of like work your way through it it didn't really feel the same as any other of the previous games to me so it's pretty um weak in my mind x7 is in a class is in a class of its own x7 is the worst game in the entire Mega Man X series <clears throat> it doesn't look like any of the other games it's like I don't even know. I barely played it, and I was highly disappointed in it because I just... I know other franchises have made changes and went from 2D to 3D and everything like that, but X7, the way it was, is just horrible. I don't even really want to try to talk about it as much more. Alright, Mega Man X8 is another one I haven't played that much, but I think I put it in B. It's still... it seems like a quality game. The mechanics are there. It was definitely a lot better than X7, and I think I like it better than X6. Um, it's one that I gotta play more, but it's not too bad. You can play as three characters, Axel, Zero, and X, and yeah, that seems pretty good. And last but definitely not least, the original Mega Man X S tier. It's a beautiful game. It's like one of the original Super Nintendo games and the mechanics are beautiful you start off running you get the dash and chill penguin stage I mean even the end where you're working through it doesn't have like the boss room you're just kind of going through levels and meeting the bosses and like until you work your way up to Sigma it's an amazing game um, the soundtrack the sound effects everything about it the, the first game of the series and it's just uh, stays true it's just a solid game till this day I never get sick of playing it that's it. X4 and, S X4 and X are the S tier. And the other ones are in their place. I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks. Hopefully we can get another great X game come out pretty soon.